All right, I think we're about live right now. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another first impression stream. This time, we're going to be playing a game called Arctic Boy, the interactive story. It looks like it's about a guy or a young programmer, Alexei, who meets a girl online for a joke site, but who would have thought Alexei uh, would not be laughing at all. Take a pack of sushi rolls, saddle a snowmobile, and go on a long journey to meet your princess. I like how they spell Alexei like A-L-E-X-E-Y here, but then in the very next sentence or whatever, they spell it completely different with uh, an I instead of a Y. All right, so this is from a developer you guys might recognize. If you remember the disgusting game that I played back, I think in January or something, uh, the game called Two Guys, One Cabin. It made a miss series because it was completely pointless. Uh, a disgusting game about two men kissing, and it was just disgusting. Uh, it had incest in it, and uh, it was just a terrible game. The only good thing I can say about this developer's games is they are only 99 cents regular price and uh, they offer a lot of like asset content i think in the unreal engine uh like this game came in at over six gigabytes in file size for under a buck hopefully top sky games can redeem themselves with this game but we'll find out here it is getting 75 percent positive reviews but let's go ahead and take a look here guys i just want to go ahead and before we get into this and this could make another missed video I want to go ahead and show you guys something. If you look at my Miss Video series here, because I make them all playlists, if you look at my Miss Videos in all of 2020, I only had 44 Miss Videos. They are getting a lot of views, as you can see, but 44 Miss Videos in all of 2020. And then Miss Videos in 2021 were only in July, and we've already topped all the Miss Videos I did in 2020. We're already at 45. Yeah, and we're just barely over halfway through the year. So I just wanted to go ahead and point that out to you. And uh, Sarah, how you doing, hon? Good to see you, as always. Thanks so much for the like and for being here. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Arctic Boy Story and see if this game is any better than two guys in one cabin. Uh, let's hope so, right? All right. I did hit the play button. We are just waiting. Come on, game. No, let's hit the play button again. All right? I don't want to launch it twice, but... There we go. I think it's doing something now. Top Sky Games! I can hardly wait. Hello, I am here. Arctic Boy, the interactive story. Right. Russian text there. Hang on. Let me uh, turn the volume up here for you guys. And we will go into settings and try to adjust the volume a little bit. Um, textures, max low. I like how they say max low rather than just like ultra low or very low. Yeah, this should be like very low, not max low. That makes no sense. Um, let's just go max here. FPS lock 120. English, obviously. Effects. Render distance max. Shadows can be low. Um, 20. What about the volume? Good for volume. Well, it doesn't look like they have any volume, surprisingly. Yeah, no volume anywhere. So, let me turn this down just a little bit for you guys so it's not too loud. Go a little bit lower. Yeah, I'm surprised it doesn't have uh, a volume setting. It's a uh, nice looking buck there. Alright. 
Oh, yes, on you, so I'm thrilled, sir, it says. Yeah, right? Yeah, I'm super excited to play this game. All right, new game, since we haven't played before. Hey, that's kind of a cool loading screen, i got to admit. So one thing I can say about the first game that I played it, is it, it, I did feel like the developer or developers had talent for making a good game. But they made a very disgusting game uh, with the first one. And uh, I just felt like they had talent to make a good game. Uh, but we'll see. Games should always have a volume setting. You're absolutely right. All right. So he says, hello, everyone. I'm in uh, Berensberg. Cool. Uh, I am a woman. Oh, that's the face set. Party Boy says, cool. Can I bring something? Although Buckwheat will most likely not surprise you. Okay, so he's interacting with somebody on a dating site, it looks like. Right? The woman says, do you have sushi rolls? I'm dying here without them. If there is, then them. And if not, then it's not necessary. Okay. Translations are pretty bad here. Of course there is. There is everything for you. I'm on my way. So... Imagine meeting somebody online, guys, and within two minutes, you decide to deliver sushi rolls to them. There are only two houses. Okay. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> He's all happy and doing a jig dance because he met a woman online, hasn't seen a picture of her, and has agreed to deliver her sushi rolls because that's what she's dying for. <laughs> Надо сходить в магазин за ингредиентами. I need to go to the store. Okay. He needs to go buy the sushi rolls, I guess. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Give me just a second, guys. Got two viewers, okay. Alright. Uh, tab or something. I don't know. I don't read Russian, man. Go to the store, that tells you. 12,000 rubles. Okay. E? F? Left click. Okay, how do I get on this thing? I can't get on it? F E? I guess I can't get on it. I guess I'm walking. Well, that's disheartening, because I thought it said something about... E, F, right click, left click, space. Yeah, I guess we can't get on it. All right. Uh, boy, we are out here in the middle of nowhere. No wonder he's online looking. Question I have is, will you really have high speed internet or even internet at all? Out here? Heart attack. I had a heart attack. I <laughs> died of a heart attack. Okay, well, I guess I'm not supposed to be walking. Uh, Sarah's like, I'm already rolling my eyes. Alright. So we're gonna start all over, I guess. Yep. There's like underground tables. Ground cables for internet. I love his mouth. I love his expression there. I'm looking for love. Hello, everyone. I live in Berensburg. Cool, eh? I am a woman. Cool. Can I bring something? Imagine that your first response. Although Buckwheat will most likely not surprise you. So funny. Do you have sushi rolls? I'm dying here without them. If there is, then bring them. If not, then it's not necessary. Yeah, they left out the word bring, I think. <laughs> of course there is. There is everything for you. I'm on my way. So imagine, imagine agreeing to all this in like, what, a minute? Meet somebody and a minute later, you're hopelessly in love. Thank you very much. There are only two houses in Martinsburg. Mine is the one which is the light is on. Okay. So there's two houses where she's at. <laughs> the music and his dancing. This is what I'm saying. I think this the, the, the developers here. I think they got some talent. <laughs> I 
надо сходить в магазин за ингредиентами. Okay, we gotta figure this out. This can't be that hard, right? Okay. Because we don't want to have another heart attack again. Ab. Go to the store. We have 12,000 rubles. Right. There's not something I'm missing, like gas or something. Uh, EF. Okay. No, uh, e binds or anything shown here. Well, if you don't know what to do, I guess you hit every button on the keyboard and hope that one of them works. Uh, I'm hitting every key, guys. Hmm. Yeah, you would think E or F would let me get on it if I can get on it. Like, you, we, you would think maybe if I get something here, I would just automatically drive or something? I don't know. Hello, Hill. How you doing? Yeah, I don't know. I'll hit space bar while that's up. No idea. Well, this is frustrating. Yeah, this is where this game fails, because obviously we can't take off. Yeah, it doesn't give you a lot of direction on what the fuck you're supposed to be. Oh, there we go. Maybe I gotta walk. Maybe I do gotta walk. Oh, you can, you can see my blue bar, so I just gotta stop and, and uh, recoup. Okay. You just gotta watch that blue bar. So if I hit tab, see, I don't see the blue bar. So this is what you gotta do. You gotta go over here, but you need the tab up so you can see your exhaustion level. Yeah, I didn't have the I didn't have that up first time, so I didn't know that I was exhausting myself. What a weird game. Oh shit. Okay, him breathing hard is a clue that you're over exhausting yourself. And I'm trying to use the mouse wheel back, but you can't, so it's first person. Man, this is gonna take so long. I thought this was something we could get something. I guess that's the town we're headed for, I don't know. Go to the store, I don't know. Oh my God. Yeah, this game is failing already. Like I'm, my morbid curiosity, kind of like the first game, is making me continue. But how many people would already, I mean, how many people would have this much much patience, you know. I think what I'm trying to say is I think a lot of people would have already fucking reached quit. Yeah, this is just dumb. Like, why put your players through this? To the developers, like, what part of this is fine? Like, when you make a game, you've got to think about what makes a game fun. And if what you're doing is going to be fun to play. Yeah, this is, uh, this is excruciatingly not fun, excruciatingly painful. 
I mean, the graphics are fine, but why why make your customer not your customers, but why make your players go through this? I don't even know where I'm going. I could get potentially lost. There's nothing showing me exactly where I'm going. Like, I feel like you should have, like, a, a light beam or something like that, or an arrow showing me where to go. Okay, so that just automatically loaded me in. Okay. Thank God, I thought I was going to have to walk there forever. Oh, never mind. I probably am. Uh... Walk to the store. Okay, I'm spacing this way when I load it in, so I'm assuming... Um... Oh my god, really? When you Can you click on the scroll? No, I can't move the mouse at all. There's no mouse. You know, I was really hoping this would be better than the first game as far as gameplay, but... So far, I'm not impressed. The question I have is, how does this game have like 30-something reviews? And 75% of them are positive. Who the fuck is giving this game a positive review is what I want to know. Like, if I if I walk to... Uh, oh, you see my trail. That's kind of cool. Um, if I don't have tab up, I can't even see that I'm exhausting myself. I see the trench I'm... digging as I walk. A deep trench. You guys are here watching my stream. Be sure you like my stream if you're enjoying this content. Remember, I didn't make this game, guys, so you know, I'm just playing the game. So don't dislike my stream just because you can see the game's bad. <laughs> this is as painful for me to play as it is for you to watch, trust me. I am kind of curious what happens when we meet that girl, though. Is it going to be worth it? Probably not. Oh my god. It'll be a guy, <clears throat> like the first game. Oh my god. Sarah might have hit something there. You might have... You might be right. Based on the first game, yeah, where two guys... I think it was a father and his son, or something like that. His 20-year-old son, or something. Were, like, making out, and they had sex, or something. It was just fucking vile. So weird. And the gameplay was pretty bad, too. But for whatever reason, I feel like this developer could probably make a good game if he wanted to. But again, why make your why make your players go through this? What part of this is fun? Like who the hell is gonna think that this right here is fun? This is mind-numbingly um painful. I don't know if they're just trying to test your patience with this bullshit or what, but you've gotta have gameplay that's more fun than this. This is annoying. Yeah, exactly. I, I was pretty disturbed when I played that first game, Sarah. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? It's why I made it's why it made my miss video. It's because it was so disgusting. It probably wouldn't have made a miss video if it wouldn't have been so freaking vile. It wouldn't have been a good game by any stretch of the imagination, but. Yeah, if anybody's morbidly curious, you can definitely go check out my... I think it's like an hour-long video of two guys, one cabin. But I warn you that it is, uh... It is not right. Come on, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna have the patience for this kind of shit the whole game. Oh my god, are you serious? 
Okay, so maybe they're just trying to make you understand and feel like it's such a long track. Yeah, we get the point. We get the point. It's a long, exhausting travel to go get sushi rolls for this woman we met online. I mean, I, I think your players can get the point without putting them through this. The ladder, yeah. That's got to be why he, why the developer's doing this, to kind of make us feel like... You know, he, this guy's traveling so, so far and going through such turmoil just to get this gal fucking sushi roll. This is going to be much better for somebody to watch it after the stream when they can just fast forward through all this nonsense. I'm just saying. Really, guys, I mean, this is the Unreal Engine. The graphics are pretty pretty good, but really all this developer's done is bought some assets and put them on a, a big empty map, right? And then he has, like, sound effects of the wind. So this wouldn't be hard to make at all. Yeah, this would be really easy to make, just saying. And then I'm guessing that if I hit W too much and kill myself, like I did the first time, I'm guessing I would have to start all the way back over at the start where we meet the girl online. There's like, hello to all watching. Feel free to say hello. Yeah, be sure you guys say hi. This game is testing your, testing my patience. It's probably testing y'all's as well. But thanks so much for being here, guys. This is the bullshit I go through just to uh, test indie games. Not only that, I buy a lot of these games as well. Like, I bought this game. Yeah, I just paid real money for this game. Granted, I mean, it was only a buck, but still. Looks like probably, I bet you this is a free asset on the Unreal Store somewhere. I would be surprised if this, this asset here costs the developer any money. I don't want to kill myself right now, that'd be bad, right? Um, there we go. God, I'm, I'm still exhausted. I can kill myself in this fucking store. Fuck you, buddy. Well, he looks, uh... He looks like he's happy to be here in this game. He's like, get me out of this fucking game. This game is such shit. Fuck out of my face. I hate my life. Yeah, I feel you, man. Alright. Take set for sushi rolls. Right. Well, you would think they would be right here somewhere, wouldn't you? There's no light or indicator where they are. Sarah, this is where I need your help on. Where would you look for sushi rolls at? Bakery? Is this them? No, it's a sandwich. Or a loaf of bread. Can I go in the restroom? Oh my god. I can kill you. It's ridiculous that you can kill yourself just walking around the store. Right, it would be like in the frozen goods, right? I almost killed myself, guys. Dry cat food, dry dog food. I 
I don't see anything, any kind of indicator. Um, I would set camp next to that supermarket. Yeah, right? Yeah, you think they would have it glowing where you need to go. I swear to God, guys, if I, uh, if I die walking around the store, I am not starting over the game. Oh. Ah. Ah. What did I just say, guys? What did I just say? This fucking game better restart me in the supermarket or this game is absolute shit i'm just saying it better start me in the fucking supermarket oh my god well at least it didn't start me all the fucking way over ah uh, so fucking annoying They should be either in those low areas, or they would be in the refrigerators. Exactly, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, they gotta be refrigerated. Yeah, I would've, I would've fucking just rage quit if it had put me back at my cabin or whatever. Yeah, made me start all the other way over. It's fucking annoying that we have to even walk back to the store again. It's ridiculous that I have a heart attack walking around a store. This is a struggle. I apologize to everybody watching. God. Could they make this game more fucking painful to play? At this point, I don't think the developers have tried to make this game fun. I think this is kind of a meme game. Or kind of a troll game. Right? Yeah, this, this game was de definitely not developed to be fun. I feel like this game is was completely made to be a troll game. So I think Sarah might be right. I think when when and if we get to that girl with the sushi rolls, I kind of feel like she might be right. I kind of feel like it might be a guy or a fucking gorilla or something dumb. I mean, you never know what you're meeting when you meet somebody online, right? Thanks for everybody being here. Be sure you comment. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you think of this game. Just trying not to fucking kill myself again. Somebody just subscribed to me here on YouTube. Thanks so much for that subscribe. Official whatever your name is. I can't pronounce it. Not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, there definitely wasn't a lot of work to put in, put in this game. I mean, this is about as low effort as you can fucking make a game. Yeah, thanks for the sub official. Exactly. Uh, well, they had a 30 second conversation, I know, right, Sarah? And now we're going through an hour of fucking turmoil here in this game. You want to help me, man? Achievement unlocked. I went to the store. Okay. You over here? I think I already looked through all this shit here. I 
I mean, we're in the seafood area. Holy cow. Savory fries. I feel like there's a lot of fucking fries. We already saw eggs somewhere else as well. See, and I'm seeing, like, fries right there. And I know I saw fries somewhere else. There's more eggs. There's more fries. I'm seeing everything but what I need. And I can't open any of this. Oh my god, this is so fucking annoying. Seafood soul. More savory fries. Pizza. Now, why don't this bitch just want some pizza, man? Quality steak meat. Yeah, they make this game super fucking annoying to play. This is good. this is just a fucking troll game. Hey, more fries. And more fries. Take a set of sushi rolls, right? Well, it did say take a set. Maybe they mean seat. No. Uh, yeah, for the developer to not show you where to fucking go to get what you need. Hey, more fries, guys. Spamming my buttons as well, just in case. I'm near it. I don't know. This is so fucking annoying. Yo, dude. Help me, man. Fuck. in their right mind would still be playing this is what I want to know. Anybody have any ideas? Where would you guys go to look for this shit? We've already tried all this shit. I'm almost dead again. Oh, I got him. Big sticks. Big sticks. I just left click my mouse button, by the way. Dicks, what the fuck is it talking about? They were just on the regular shelf. Dicks for the sushi roll, so I gotta find sticks now, okay. Grits. Potato chips. Okay. 
If I was a stick, where would I be? go bring her some uh, sanitary organic pads no leakage paper towels toilet paper shit like that closable diapers facial tissue just spamming my fucking mouse button just saying uh yeah, I found, uh, I found the sushi rolls. Now I gotta find some fucking sticks. But I don't know where they're at. Really more than anything, I'm trying to keep killing myself. kind of fucking trolled me by putting the fucking sushi over here. Like, maybe it's, maybe the sticks are going to be refrigerated. I'm gonna spam my fucking mouse button. I saw something that said sticks on aisle two or three. Really? Aisle two or three. Really? Sticks, there we go. That's coffee sticks, though. Yeah, that won't work. Yeah, good, good eye there, Hill. But that isn't the right kind of sticks, I guess. Nope. Cake sticks. Vinegar chips. Spaghetti. Lasagna. Oh my god, this is so fucking annoying. Yeah, this is this is definitely a fucking troll game. And I'm falling victim to it. Developer's probably gonna laugh his ass off at this shit.
fake sticks. Nothing over here, right? I'm just spamming my left mouse button, guys. Not even gonna fucking lie. Like in the middle, uh, it looked like a box. Yeah, I saw the. It was coffee sticks and it won't let me take them. It would make sense that they would be on one of those aisles, though. Well, let me check out. Almost killed myself again. Boy, this is so much fun. What a fucking great game. On the aisle, like right over here, I'll show you. If she was right here somewhere. Or right here. I don't remember, it was somewhere over here on one of these aisles. I don't remember where. Like right there or something. By the fucking maxi pads, I feel like. And now it's telling me I need sticks. At this point, based on where I get the fucking sushi, I'm just fucking spamming my left mouse button as I walk around. Because I've about had it with this fucking game. What a fun fucking game. <sighs> Almost killed myself again because I'm getting frustrated. <sighs> Achievement unlock three watermelons. guess if you walk by the three watermelons uh how you doing road by the dog food you saw it by the dog food yeah see uh he'll thought she saw it when she saw sticks right there but that doesn't that doesn't work uh the dog food dry dog food talking about no trust me by the cans by the cans of dog food okay 
Oh, right there? Yeah, well, let me get him. You're talking about that? Or if you're talking about that little thing that looks like sticks, yeah, well, let me get that either. What? Yeah, you're saying yay, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, if you're talking about that little wooden thing right there that looks like sticks, yeah, that's not it. I've seen that at other places, too, and wouldn't let me get it. And it's not that either. It won't let me do anything. Uh, oh, come back home. Okay, cool. We got it, I guess. Well, we, I guess that was it, sir. What the fuck? Those are chopsticks? No. All right, it says come back home. Здравствуйте. Добро пожаловать. Роллы будете делать, да? Oh my Здорово. god, we finally got them. Well, thanks, Тут Sarah. Проблема такая. Придется заплатить в два раза больше. Have to pay twice as потому, much because today is Friday. What the fuck? Ну ладно. С вас 300 крон. Всего вам доброго. До свидания. Приходите еще. What? Give me my shit, motherfucker. I'm back home. Alright, I guess we're going home now. Buy a sled? Fuck, I wish. Oh my god, this game is such a fucking troll game. I can imagine if I fucking hold W too long and we die, we have to start all over again. So, what's it making me do? Go back home and then come back again when the prices aren't so high? Is that really what we're doing? Hey, Kurumi, how you doing? This is, yeah, this game is just, this game's a mean game. Absolutely. This is a game you fucking buy for your friends and say, hey, play this game, it's great, and then laugh your ass off at them. There is nothing fun about this game. This developer's a fucking asshole even put this game up on Steam. I'm just saying. Alright. I'll walk backwards. Uh, this is a fucking troll game, Kurumi. Made by an asshole developer. Who thinks that watching people play this bullshit is funny, I guess. But anyway, the game is about... We started off within the first 30 seconds, we meet a girl online. Supposedly a girl. And we have to go get her fucking sushi rolls at the supermarket. And then it takes forever to find the fucking sushi rolls in the supermarket because they're not where they should be. And then I think we went to check out and the guy said, I think we didn't have enough money. So we're probably gonna have to come back or some bullshit. I don't know. And if you walk to, like you see my blue bar there, most of the time if you don't have, hit tab and have that up, you can't even see your blue bar. So you can kill yourself just by hitting W too long. But if you have that up, you can at least see your stamina or whatever. And if you hold W too long and run out of stamina, you'll die and have to start all over again. Yeah, he got me to play it. You're 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 right. You're right, Rude. Absolutely. At least we haven't been utterly disgusted yet. Yeah, like the first game. But when we meet this uh, internet chick, right? We might be disgusted again. I kind of feel like we will. I think Sarah's already said you're gonna go and meet this girl, and it's gonna be a, a guy. Huh. See how we leave a trench as we walk through the snow? That loading screen is the best part of the game? Absolutely, I think you're right, Rude. Yeah, this is just agonizing. 
It'll test your patience for sure. I've been playing this game for almost an hour just to see what happens when we meet this fucking girl. And you guys are all still here, like, I, my viewers are growing, so this game is obviously, you know, uh, making you guys curious as well as to what's, you know, is this guy going to be worth it? You know, we already know it's not going to be worth it, but we, I guess we want to know what the fuck happens. I've already died twice. Yeah, I've been playing for 50 minutes. I've died twice from a heart attack already. Just by holding W too long. Oh, I didn't have 11,000. Now I only have 10,000 rubles. How did I lose a ten How did I lose a thousand rubles? Walking through the snow. That's kind of fucking weird. And once we get to the end of this trench, we're not even a. What's up? I hope you took two sets of chopsticks. I said everything happens as expected. Have to go back. What the fuck? Are you fucking serious? What the fuck, man? Started with 12,000. Now I have to go back because I have to get another fucking set of, uh. Oh my god. This fucking troll ass game. Like, fuck this developer, man. Yeah, it's already been almost an hour. I get almost all the way back through this fucking trench. And now the, uh. The tab thing that tells me where to go tells me to go back. Yeah, who... Who in their right mind would fucking play this? And stream it so the fucking developer can laugh his ass off at me. Like, I gotta be a blithering fucking idiot, right? I gotta be a blithering idiot to play this fucking game. And to think about this, guys, I paid money for this game. I paid the developer money to go through this fucking hell. It's kind of funny, though, I gotta admit. Uh... Yeah, you didn't know when you first got it. Girl. Now I'm just dying to see... ...what actually happens. He's trying to fucking get me to have a heart attack. See that fucking blue bar there? Fucking piece of shit. Like, it goes up so slow, but when I walk up fast, it goes down. Slowly creeps back up. Kermie said she wouldn't even play it for free. Exactly. Yeah, Kermie's smarter than me, though. Oh my god. Yeah, easily made game though. Like, this game would be so fucking easy to make. I've never made a game on Unreal, but I don't think this game would be hard to make. Hey, at least we don't have to fucking climb up the ladder. Oh my god. Help me. Everybody in chat is smarter than you. Yeah, we had seven viewers a minute ago. And we can't hold shift to run faster or anything. The developer is definitely smarter than me, Road. Yeah, I've been playing for 55 minutes right now. So let me guess, I'm gonna go get this fucking second box of, uh, sushi rolls. And then by that, get almost all the way home, and the bitch is gonna text me and say she changed her mind. 
and she wants fucking pizza. Right? Just watching the trailer shows you how bad the game is. Yeah, I, I didn't think the game was going to be a troll game like this from watching the trailer, though. Like, I don't think the trailer kind of doesn't... The trailer doesn't really reveal that it's going to be a fucking meme or a troll game like this, did it? Now you watch, guys. I'm going to go get the second box of fucking sushi rolls. And then I'm going to get almost all the way home. And the fucking bitch is going to text me. And say, oh, never mind. I don't want sushi anymore. I want frozen pizza. Yeah, as bad as those survival games are, Road, yeah, this is uh, even worse. I agree, Sarah. This makes the uh, games that Road plays look like works of art. Hell, this game looks like most of the Myst games that I play look like works of art, if we're being honest, right? But, I gotta say, the game has me, has my curiosity peaked enough to where I'm still playing. So good job on the developer there. And this developer has you guys this curiosity peaked enough to where you guys are all still here. I'm just saying. Road says uh, at least the survival games have a point. Look at this guy standing outside now. Alright, I'm just going to let my bar fill up. Goddamn. This is one fucking lazy fucker who, uh, can't fucking walk, like, 30 seconds without nearly having a heart attack. Hey, buddy. You don't look any happier. Здравствуйте. <laughs> You're very lucky I have a set of chopsticks with me. I'll give it to you for just a hundred. Okay. Achievement unlocked. I went to the store again. Alright. So, I'm clicking my mouse button just to make sure I got it. Alright. Alright, go home it says. Alright, any predictions on what's going to happen? Uh, Road says he's here to laugh at me. I'm glad I decided to do this on a live stream because this is pretty fucking funny. Any predictions on what's going to happen, guys? We know it's going to let me get almost all the way home, but then what? You trying to get your 99 cents worth out of it? Yeah, so far I haven't got my 99 cents worth out of it. Right now, I feel like the developer owes me about 10 bucks. Yeah, if the developer's actually out there watching this video or the stream, like I'm saying, motherfucker, you owe me like 10, 20 bucks just for playing this and the hell you're putting me through. So feel free and hit the fucking donation link below. And again, this is only to the developer. To the developer of this game, be sure you hit that fucking donation link, man. Because I know that I'm entertaining the fuck out of you by continuing to play this goddamn morbidly retarded fucking game. <laughs> There's like, oh my gosh, he's actually asking the developer for money. Uh-huh. It'll be interesting to see if he actually gives me pity money or something. Oh my god. Alright, let's let my fucking bar fill all the way up again. I feel like that might be the best way to do it. Is I feel like that might be faster than just taking two steps at a time. I feel like it might be faster just to fucking let your bar fill up and then... I don't know. Probably doesn't matter. Now it's like a challenge, right? Yeah, I feel like it's kind of worth it to just let your fucking bar fill up. And take it to like where he gets out of breath and then let your bar fill up again. Patience, because when you're just like doing like I was doing before, it just seems like, I don't know, it seems like it takes longer. Maybe it doesn't. Turn around. 
Yeah, we have a fucking uh, snowmobile, but I can't use it. I can't get on it. Trust me, I tried. Oh, this is some deep fucking snow, I'm just saying. Anybody have a prediction of what's going to happen now? You know what's going to let me get almost all the way home, and then that bitch is going to call, and what's she going to say? Oh, I, I changed my mind. I want frozen pizza. Something's going to happen. We know that. And how come when I got the second set of uh, sushi rolls, how come it didn't take 100 or whatever he said it was going to cost? Like, how come I don't have 9,900 rolls? Uh, Hill says the online chick probably died of a heart attack, right? Uh, Sarah says tough crap girl, get your own pizza, right? Alright, I said I was going to wait for it to fill up, so let's just do that. Making my way through the snow. That poor, lonely fucking tree, right? Anybody feel sorry for this tree? Well, at least this tree's not as dumb as me. Imagine going through all this effort, guys. Over an hour now, I've spent to try to get romance from an online girl in a fucking video game. How sad I'm... Like, I, what I guess what I'm saying here, guys, is... Like, it would be one thing to be as, this sad of a person to go through all this fucking turmoil and trouble for an internet girl in real life. But here I am going through all this fucking trouble for an online girl in a fucking game. That makes me, like, ten times worse than this fucking loser that's being simulated in this game. Right? <laughs> The roads like that beat can go F herself. <laughs> God, this game will test your fucking patience, man. But it's still not, this game still isn't like as tough as like, what's that game, uh, getting over it with Benny Fodder or whatever it was? Yeah, it's still not that level of a troll game. Because it's not that fucking difficult. Oh my God, that game is probably one of the most trolliest games I've ever played. Like getting over it with Benny Fodder. Did you ever play that road? I don't know if you ever played it. I know you've seen it. Seen it. And that game sold really well too. Like it sold fucking that 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 developer got rich off that fucking game. Back in what 2017 or something. There's the other ladder. We can see it. We're getting close, boys. He hasn't called me yet. Oh, you streamed it for like three hours back when I streamed on YouTube? <laughs> Pogo Suck is like, uh, yeah. Suck is like it as well, yeah. That's one weird looking fucking rock, I'm just saying. Can I make it to where it loads me back to my cabin screen? There we go, yep. Getting close to being home, boys. Maybe my snowmobile will work. Oh, I gotta load this shit up. Enter your house and cook a sushi roll, okay? Oh, so let me guess. Here's what's gonna happen, guys. I'm gonna go in my fucking house, cook a sushi roll, and I'm gonna burn it. So I'm going to have to go back to the store and get more. Wouldn't that be fucked up? That's going to say, you burnt the sushi roll. You need to go back and get more. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll be here like five more hours playing this fucking stupid ass game.
Anybody have any other predictions, or do you think that might be close to what's going to happen? I gotta, I gotta admit, guys, I am morbidly curious how this is going to play out. have to go back for matches heal. Well, yeah, you might be right. I see we have a fucking silver bill right there, but it won't let you do anything with it. At least not yet. Yeah, I like seeing these animations. You're gonna prepare the rolls and go. Got him done. He didn't burn him. Nice. Oh, now I get to use a snowmobile. Nice. Now I'm going to this bitch's house. All right. She lives in a town with two houses, guys. And online, when we met her, like we only said, like we talked to her for like 30 seconds online. Oh, now we actually get to a more fun part of the game. Ah, uh, fuck! Fuck, no! A shame you ruined the rolls and died? Restart? What the fuck? Fuck you! It better not restart me back at the start. I swear to God, it better not start me all the way. Be start me back at the snowmobile, motherfucker. You better start me back at the snowmobile again. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if I had to start all the way over again just because I fucking died, I'd be fucking so pissed. Yeah, because this is actually a little bit... I don't have a lot of mobility. Oh god, I can't see! That's fucked up. Oh no, 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 no! It died again. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind playing this part that bad. This part's actually a lot more fun than just fucking walking. I mean, it's still not great, but let's try going to the right side this one time. Oh, fuck. Oh, I made it. I can't see, though. Fuck. Ah! Oof. Hey, I'm feeling good about this path. You gotta go the right way, right? The right way? Oh, fuck. Fuck. Making my fucking butt cheeks clench here, guys. What? 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 Oh, God, I'm gonna heal. What the fuck? Oh god. It's so fucking hard to see where I'm going. See, this is actually pretty smart. This is pretty smart game design here. I gotta admit, for a developer who doesn't have a ton of skill, he made this he made that pretty good. That part was pretty good. Oh my god. What? I'm all bloody. What the fuck? Oh, that's somebody else. Okay, I thought that was me. The zombie. Здорово, Леон. Ты куда? В Баринсбург. Where are you going? Не советую сегодня. I do not advise you to go there today. The weather is getting worse and it's getting dark already. Не, Олежич. Я еду. Like I'm going. It's worth it. Well, as you know, like, uh, good luck. I hope to see you again. That's so fucking weird. That guy was all bloody. I thought he was a zombie or something. Or dying. Alright, now it's good. Now I'm guessing I'm gonna have to travel in the dark. Right? 
Oh boy. New save point though, so in case I die I can start here again maybe. <laughs> That's the online chick. No, we're not there yet because we're going to see... Remember she said she lives in that town and there's two houses. And her house is the house that's lit up. It has lights on. Fucking voting screen. Yep, we gotta do this again in the dark. Because of course we do. Oh, fuck you, game. I feel like I'm doing pretty good, right? I think I've got this shit mastered now. Knock on wood. Ah, oh, fuck. What? I didn't even crash into anything. Fuck you. I didn't crash into shit. Fuck this game. I can't slow down, by the way. And yeah, there are no fucking brakes. If I hit, like, S, it does nothing. Which, we gotta be honest, that's pretty fucking dumb. Try going more left this time, maybe. Left of this. Okay. Let's try going right of this rock. There we go. I think we're on the right path now. I'm going left here. And then right, right, right. Yeah, I can't lie, this is actually kind of fun here. I mean, this isn't the most fun fucking game I can imagine playing, but... Oh, I think at least I didn't die. Wait. This whole game is dumb and some dummies playing it. Hey, don't be jealous, Road. I'm gonna meet a hot chick. Gasoline ran out, so now I gotta walk. That's perfect. Okay, so you're going this way. What the fuck is that? It's okay, okay. Oh, I gotta collect 10-6. Good thing I hit tab there. Okay, cool. Oh my god, I forgot. I gotta fucking watch my... Gotta yeah, walk fucking three feet without dying of a heart attack. No chick is worth this bullshit. I think you're right. Two six. Three six. This is fun and we're having it, boys. Oh my god, this is fucking painful. I've now been playing this game an hour and 15 minutes. And I honestly feel like I did pretty good on the, uh, on the snowmobile part, I feel like it. I mean, I feel like some people might fucking crash there ten times. Like I could totally see somebody fucking crashing on that snowmobile part eight or ten times before they make it through. Yeah, we only talked to this chick for like thirty seconds. Like she says, 
hi, and I basically said, hi, what can I do for you? And she's like, oh, I would love to have some sushi sticks. And I'm like, all right, I'll be right there, basically. That's what, that's how this all happened. Yeah, we exchanged like four lines at the very start of the game. And then after, as soon as uh, she said, yeah, that'd be great. Bring me the sushi sticks or whatever. And then it showed a scene, probably the best scene in the game so far was him like fucking all happy about it and dancing and cheering because he was gonna bring the chick some sushi sticks. That was kind of funny. We got half of them now. I don't see any kind of like freezing level or anything like that, so it doesn't look like I'm gonna freeze to death or anything. Like I don't think I'm racing against time here. But you never know. I've never, Hill says I've never seen a game so bad uh, be so good. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely keeping people intrigued. People are staying here watching. Sticks appear by me. I'm back at my mobile. Yeah, I mean, I gotta give this developer credit. He's this game's actually pretty fucking pretty pretty brilliant in a way. I mean, somehow it's way better than, like, all the bad games that I only play for 5 or 10 minutes and leave a bad review, right? Because I'm still here. Think of all the missed games where I play the game, like, 5, 10 minutes and then leave a negative review and call it done. And it's a missed video. And I'm done with it in, like, 10 minutes. I mean, I'm still here going out. We've been here almost an hour and 20 minutes now. So does anybody think Sarah's right that I'm going to get to this chick? Because we're going to play the game all the way through at this point. I mean, I'm already in an hour and 20 minutes. I don't give a fuck if it takes me three hours to get to the end. We're going to find out what happens at this point. I'm already invested. But I wouldn't blame you guys if you guys want to fucking go away for an hour. And then come back and let's just say that I'm already done with the game. Well, all you have to do is fucking, you know move the, uh, you know, skip right to the end and see what happens. That'd probably be the smart way to do it, but I appreciate you guys staying here. But, uh, does anybody think Sarah might be right that I'm going to get to this trick and it's going to be a guy? I have a feeling she might be right. I knew you would say that. You knew I would say what, Sarah? What exactly did I say that you knew I was going to say? I feel like these sticks are just randomly popping in. Maybe they're not. Maybe they are actually all... You know, I thought the sticks were just randomly appearing in different random spots. But no, I actually think the developer went in and placed these sticks in different spots, so it's kind of like an Easter egg hunt. Fuck me. Oh, you knew I was going to say I'm going to play to the end now? Yeah, I mean, I'm already fucking invested an hour and a half. So now we basically got an Easter egg hunt for these last two sticks, guys. Yeah, it's not like I thought. I thought they were just, like, you know, randomly spawning or whatever. Nope. He's got a couple of them hidden, it looks like. Fuck. I was thinking I'd just kill myself and have to do it all over again. Fuck, man. Where's these last two sticks at? Yeah, we actually got an Easter egg on now.
Oh, there's one. This last one is gonna take me fucking an hour to find, watch. One more. And with my luck, it'll take me a fucking hour and a half to find it. I like how as you pick up some of the last sticks, you can hear the storm coming in. That's kind of cool. The weather starts getting bad. Oh, there we go. All right, I got 10 six. Now what, motherfucker? Oh no, there's plenty of six. It's not like there's just 10 six. Okay, there's plenty of six around. I guess I have to go back to my solo with now. Guessing. I guess we can test it and see if I can pick up an 11th, but I don't think I can. I can pick up 11 six, okay. Well, now we got an extra stick to fucking poke this bitch in the eye with. If, uh, if she's a guy. That road says, uh, polar bear kills Axter. That would suck, man. You guys are here enjoying my frustration and my patience being tested playing this game and you haven't already liked my stream, be sure you hit the like button, guys. If, yeah, if I'm not going back to my snowmobile, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh my god, Rude, what the fuck, you fucking asshole. Look what you did, Rude. Look what you did. I will delay him and you run. This guy's been helpful. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey, he said the same thing I did. <laughs> Fuck you, Rude. I blame this on you, man. Oh my god. Stabbed him right in the ear. And we got blood all over us. Oh, fuck. Polar Bill kills Baxter. Rude already said it. Keep it locked. The power of love. Oh my god. We both killed each other? Oh no, I'm still alive. My toxic words, right? Well, I'm somehow still alive, but I'm still on a wor on a mission to meet this internet chick and get laid, I guess. Yeah, there's still a lot of gas on the silver bill, so... I guess I'm just taking off on foot to walk there. Oh, good thing there's, uh, snow for the blood. Yeah, true. So the polar bear, the polar bear killed my friend. It almost killed me. All over the stupid bitch wanting fucking sushi rolls. Achievement unlocked. We're there. Bartonsburg. Alright, so... Hey, she said there was only two houses. I see three. Walk to Annie's house. 
Here we go, guys. What's gonna happen? Uh, Sarah says, uh, just eat the sushi and go the fuck home. Right? We're not leaving a, uh, a trail anymore. Yeah, watch, she'll be married. <laughs> Alright, guys, what's your predictions? You guys gotta let me know now. What is your predictions on what the fuck is gonna happen in this game? I guess that's the name of this fucking town in Russian. Okay, her house is the house with the light on, he said. I'm guessing it's going to be the fucking far house. Because of course it is, right? We're almost there, I think, guys. I think we're almost at the end of the game. Only an hour and a half in. Hey, is this gas? Can I pick it up? Just saying. I don't think this is the right house. Maybe it is. Moment of truth. Здравствуйте. Аня дома? Дома. А вы кто? Серега. Можно ее увидеть? Не. Она плохо. Is feeling well? You must be okay, yeah? Ты должно быть Have you the roll? Ты чего так долго? Ролл ты принес? Принес? Yes. He gives them to him. Where's the second set of chopsticks? They ask you. Fuck, I'll eat it with a fork. Please. Wait, but can we at least spend the night with you? We? Yes. I don't think there's a motel. I think there's. A, there's a, I don't think there's a motel. Right, you can spend the night there. Huh? Ну ладно. И это мусор захвати. And then let's grab the trash. А как же экскурсия? What about the excursion? So I think he meant to say. I think it was translated bad. I think he said there is a motel on the right. Hey, there she is. It's a woman. Да, Анечка, на таких миры держится. At least he saw her. Take the trash. What? Oh, right there. We throw out the trash. Where do I throw it? Is that a trash can out there? Or is that a rock? I'm assuming I'm going this way. But I don't know. Is that a trash bin or is that a fucking rock? I can't tell. It's a barbecue grill. Oh no, it's a trash bin, my bad. Fuck, I almost died again, god damn it. Oh, we got a fucking hatchet? What the fuck? He's done lost his mind. He's like, I want some of that Annie ass. What the fuck? See, one thing I gotta say about this developer, he makes some fucking weird games. Return to Annie and Sir Yoga. With that axe in our hand. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah, this is going bad quick, right? Yeah, this guy definitely makes some weird fucking games. Hi. 
Now look at me. You know you want me, Biatch. I came all the way here for you. Hey, they haven't eaten the fucking sushi rolls yet. Just looking at them. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Whoa! What the fuck? Oh, he ain't getting laid now. Damn. Oh, he's got gas for his fucking snowmobile, I guess. Achievement unlock, revenge. Wow. <laughs> That's fucked up. Like, I thought he would at least try to fucking get it on with her or something after he killed her fucking brother or boyfriend or whoever he was. Alright, so what am I doing now? Go to the hotel. Okay. So I'm burning their fucking house down as well. That's what I use the gas for, okay. So not only did I fucking kill them, I'm like, I want to burn their fucking house down. Man, what the fuck? The fuck, I almost died again. Is that the hotel over there? Oh, it says hotel right there on it. Okay. I didn't see the fucking light before. Uh, went through all that work to find out she had a man, kills her and uh, him, burns the house down and goes home. Not the hotel. Looks like yeah. yeah. I see the I see the hotel that over there on that little house over there. Oh, that makes sense. He said it was two houses, and then there's a hotel in the back. Okay. How come I didn't notice that fucking hotel light when I took the trash out? So yeah, that guy was obviously her boyfriend, but he got jealous or whatever and just killed them both. Uh, Sarah's like this dev has serious issues. Remy says, uh, it's this game about getting sushi roll for that woman, right? Yeah. Game about a desperate dude trying to get sushi rolls for a woman and then finds out she's married or has a boyfriend or whatever. <sighs> Fuck, I almost died again. God damn it. There's a guy in there. There we go. Our rooms cost 10,000 rubles. How much will we pay? You're gonna kill him. My bank card. Welcome to Bartonsburg. Or whatever. Why are you smiling so creepy, man? What a nice fucking motel room. 10,000 rubles, huh? That it? The game over? That road's like a nice hotel, right? A little town with two houses and a hotel room or a hotel. Imagine putting a hotel in a fucking town with two houses. Looking deer looking on. Deer's like, that's fuck, some fucked up shit, man. You wanna lock the end? Question mark. And that would be it, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Rage Gamer. 
is you'll have to check out End of Days when it comes out. Found out about it today. It looks awesome. Uh, see, wow. All right, guys. What do you guys think about this game? It took me an hour and 35 minutes to play this game. Uh, I do like the snow biome, though. Wow, I'm just wow. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to give this game a miss game. I know I gave this developer's first game a miss. I uh, made it a bad video, but I mean, this game cost me a buck. And I wouldn't say it was the most riveting, fun gameplay I've ever played. But it did keep me playing for an hour and a half. So, whatever it was about it, the meme of it, the trollness of it, um, the curiosity, I guess, is what kept me playing. Curiosity about what would happen at the end. And then we found out. So, yeah, there's, I just, I don't have it in me to miss this game, guys. Uh, as bad as it might have seemed. In a way, I think this fucking developer is kind of brilliant, right? I think this developer is, uh, he's smarter than me anyway. He got my money, and he got me to play the game all the way through. I remember his first game as well. I, my morbid curiosity kept me playing, and I remember something at the end. I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure out how to finish it, so I never did find out what happened at the end of the first game. I think it was bugged or something, so I don't know. Well, thankfully, this game wasn't bugged. We was able to see the end of it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this game for anybody. But uh, the only way I would recommend this game is if you want to troll somebody. Like, buy them this game and tell them to play it. And then see if they waste an hour and a half on it. So it's definitely a good troll game. So for the dollar, I would say this game is well worth it. If you're going to give it to somebody else and have them play it. That's how this game is good. You can buy it for somebody else. You can definitely get a dollar's worth out of this by trolling a friend or trolling somebody you love or know or whatever. Uh, you might want to make sure you have a pretty strong relationship. If you just give this game, if you buy this game for just an average friend on Steam, yeah, they may never talk to you again. I'm just saying. You might want to have make sure you have a pretty strong relationship or a pretty strong friendship before you before you buy this game or give this game to somebody. But yeah, great uh, a great troll game to give somebody. Absolutely. And so that's probably the most value you're going to find with this game. All right, guys, I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching. Uh, if you guys are watching my stream later on, be sure you comment down below. Like if you're watching my stream after I streamed it and you watched it or you flipped through it and saw it, uh, definitely let me know what you think about it and let me know if uh, this video has inspired you to go buy this game, especially if this video has inspired you to buy this game as a gift. For somebody you know uh yeah if you decided to buy this game to gift it to a friend or a brother or whatever let me know i would love to know down in the comments below but thank you guys all for tuning in and hanging out and being patient to see the crazy morbid end of that game basically we have a guy who met who lives in fucking bumfuck russia i guess in a fucking snowy part of russia meets a girl online uh, she says she wants fucking sushi rolls, so I have to track across fucking the frozen tundra to get to a supermarket. I buy the sushi rolls, then I get almost home to cook them. He tells me, oh, I need two boxes. And I would assume the reason I needed two boxes was because for her and her fucking husband. I'm going to assume that was her husband. I think Road was right there. So then, she wants two boxes. I'm probably thinking, damn, she's hungry. Or maybe I'm thinking, oh, maybe one box is for me or whatever. So I have to track back all the way across the fucking frozen tundra, back to the supermarket, get a second box of fucking sushi rolls. Then I have to track all the way back home, cook the motherfuckers. And then I have to use the snowmobile to dodge a bunch of rocks and boulders and trees and shit. Uh, a couple of times. I had to find fucking ten sticks as well. And then I finally get to her fucking little village. Find out she has a husband. Dude's like, give me them fucking sushi rolls. Take my garbage out. That's probably what pissed me off is the fact that A, she was fucking married when I got there. 
And B, her husband's like fucking treating me like a little bitch and saying, give me those fucking rolls and take this garbage out, motherfucker. So, that, I mean, that would probably piss you anybody off. You know, you, you fucking do all that shit for somebody, find out they're married, and then their husband treats you like a little bitch and says, take out my garbage? Yeah, I guess I can kind of see why he got mad. But picking up an axe and fucking going and killing them both, yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit crazy. <laughs> a little bit mental. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I had fun with this game. Um, I'm going to give this game a positive review. I, I do think the developer is pretty smart, to be honest. Uh, I think he's fucking crazy. But, uh, yeah. I, I do think he's smart. And I think he has the potential to make a good game. I would like to see this developer actually make a good game. Not a troll game. And not a fucking disgusting game like his first game. But I would like to see this developer actually try to make a good game. Because I think he probably can. Uh, I don't really think Arctic Boy is a good game. I would say Arctic Boy is more of a good troll game to give somebody uh, as a troll, as a as a meme, if you would. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below if you guys are watching this later. Have a good one, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. Take care.